In this video, we're going to see how to complete a work document, from starting an estimate, to creating a repair order, and finally, cashing the invoice. With the Job Group feature, you have access to all of the labor and parts links you need to make completing a repair order easy and efficient. All of these links are accessed by clicking the Add Job Group button. Let's explore these links. Blank Job Group allows you to start a job with no line items, just a job description. And optionally, you can add a job category and designate a technician. Custom Jobs accesses the custom jobs that are pre-built and ready to add to the work document. OEM Labor Times allows access to industry standard labor times to add to the job. Catalog Parts accesses your online parts catalogs. Maintenance takes you to the factory maintenance schedules. Labor opens the quick labor pop-up that allows you to start a job using the labor rates you created and set up. Quick Parts prompts a list of frequently used parts and fluids, allowing you to quickly add them to the work document. Inventory Parts gives you the ability to add parts from your shop's inventory as well as manually enter part information for a single sale. And lastly, with tire sales, you can quickly add tires to the work document from your inventory. So let's build this repair order. We'll start with Alyssa Moore and her Corvette already on the document. We add and confirm the vehicle mileage, then ask her to describe the problem. Alyssa tells us her voltmeter is reading low and her battery doesn't seem to be keeping a charge. We click on Symptoms to get started. We then select Battery Charging Light from the list of common symptoms and click Done. Let's add ourselves as the service writer. We want to add a labor job for diagnostics, so we click Add Job, then click Custom Jobs from the drop-down. This opens the Custom Jobs window. We'll add the one we created for diagnosing a charging system. Since we use the pre-built custom job, the work description is also included. Next, we select a technician who will be doing the work. We also let Alyssa know she's due for an oil change and that we can do it while it's here. She agrees, so we use our custom jobs again and add the job to create an estimate. Now this custom job is a standard oil change for most vehicles. However, this Corvette isn't most vehicles. This one takes 10 and a half quarts of oil. Changing the quantity on the job is simple. We just click the part number here change the quantity, and click Update. Now we can save this as an estimate, and print it. Charlie finds that the alternator is defective and the positive battery cable needs to be replaced. We need to add these parts and labor to the estimate. To begin, we click Add Job Group, and select OEM Labor Times to open the catalog. When it opens, we click Starting and Charging. Then we select Charging System and Alternator. We're going to use aftermarket parts, so we skip the OEM parts and select the labor from the bottom list. Now we select an aftermarket parts catalog. For this example, we're using the AutoZone catalog. How to set up and use the aftermarket catalogs available in Manage Online is covered in other videos. Click the link to view them. Because we added the labor for replacing the alternator to our cart, a list of related parts is shown here. Clicking these will take us directly to the parts in the catalog. We choose the alternator and click Add to put the items in the parts basket. Because we want the belt as well, we use the Related Category link at the top of the parts list to take us straight there and add it to our basket as well. We'll add the idler pulley too. And click Add to Document to transfer the parts and labor to the estimate. 
To see how to order and receive parts electronically, click the link above. We have the battery cable in our parts inventory, so to add that, we'll click the Add Item button and select Inventory Parts. If you know the part number, you can enter it here, or you can enter part or all of the description. I'll enter Cable and click Search Inventory. Here is the part we need, so we click the green check mark and it adds it to this box. Clicking Done adds the part to the job. At this point, we can turn this estimate into a repair order. We can either print a technician worksheet for Charlie or the RO for Alyssa. We'll just click Cancel for now and come back to that later. While doing his courtesy inspection, Charlie finds that the front brakes and rotors also need replacing. To give Alyssa an estimate of what that would cost, we'll create another job. We'll be getting these parts from a vendor that doesn't have electronic parts ordering. So we call Jeff at the parts store and tell him we need the front pads and rotors for a 2009 Corvette. We jot down the part numbers and prices and we're ready to add them to the repair order. Once again, we start with Add Job Group and choose Inventory Parts. This is the same page we added the battery cable from. However, since these are not stocked parts, we enter the part number and description. Then select the supplier from this drop down. Next, we'll add the part cost. You can add the selling price here if you don't have a default markup set or a price matrix set up for the supplier you're using. If you do have a markup set, leave the selling price blank and Manage Online will calculate the selling price for you when it's added. Also, you can leave the quantity blank if you're adding only one of these parts. This area allows you to add the part to your Manage Online inventory. To add this part to the job, we click Add to Document and repeat the process for the rotors. This time, we'll add a quantity of two and click Add to Document. Clicking Done adds the parts to the brake job. We'll also need some brake fluid, so we click the Add Item button, and this time we'll choose Quick Parts. This is an easy way to get commonly used parts and fluids into a job. We'll choose Fluids here. We click this checkbox it adds a quantity of one. We could change that if we needed more, but this is good for now, so we'll click Done. To complete the job, we'll get the labor times from the catalog, just like before. This time, however, we're going to use the search feature to make it a little quicker. We choose the labor for replacing the front pads. We also include the additional time for replacing both rotors by clicking Add twice. Once for each side. Then click Add to Document. We call Alyssa to let her know what we found and how much it will cost. She approves the work, so we click Update RO. Now we can print the tech worksheet for Charlie, as well as the RO for Alyssa. But since she's not in the shop, we'll email her the repair order. We have her email address in her customer record, so Manage Online puts it here for us. Just click Email, and it's on its way. Once Charlie finishes the repairs, we text Alyssa to let her know her car is ready for pickup. When she arrives back in the shop, we tell her we're taking off the diagnostics charge. 
We then confirm the mileage out and click Invoice. After selecting the payment method, we click Pay. Print a copy of the invoice for Alyssa and thank her for her business.